Bogborn people. Hope everyone's having a good day. It's lovely out here today. Just out on my uh, afternoon dog walk with Harry. Uh, yeah, so I just put a post up about Chino XL. He is a Puerto Rican rapper. Uh, he did a song called Father's Day on his album Reconstruction. And the song is about his three-year-old daughter who got cancer. Um, the song is a very powerful song, very sad song. Um, luckily, she pulled through and uh, they got rid of it. Um, we all go through this with cancer. I think everyone gets affected by it in some way. I've got a few friends that have been through it. I've got friends that are going for it. Um, it's a very, very difficult one, isn't it, cancer? Because as soon as you hear the word cancer, straight away you just think, you're done. And that's because it does kill a hell of a lot of people. There's not really any proper cure for it. They've got things that can cure it, but don't always work. Um, very painful thing to have as well depending on what you get I mean certain ones you know you get brain cancer you don't have really stand much chance of uh, surviving um, there's certain cancers like lung cancer you can survive from but again it's not it's not something that's easily to you know it's not something that they can easily cure um, I did a post yesterday on my friend John he um, lost his fiance to cancer in 2020 um, my friend Jack lost his mum to cancer in 2014 um, my uncle died blimey in 20, 2000 I think it was my uncle Stuart my uncle Andrew has cancer he's still alive thank you God um, you know, it's, 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 like I said, we'll all get affected by it at some point. I don't think there is ever a day, uh, ever, and I don't think there's anyone in this world that will not come across it at some point, whether it's with, for a friend, um, through a family member, through a work colleague, you know. I remember I first, well, since I remember when I was younger, I don't know if it was just because we were being sheltered from it all or whether we just didn't really sort of care, you know, like we were just young, living our lives sort of thing, like, but when you were really young, you never really heard of it, and it wasn't until I got to school, uh, Ramsey, that uh, a friend of mine, Luke Stallwood, his dad died from it, and then there was another girl called Hannah, and uh, her, um, her, her, her uh, dad died of it. Um, we all, there's, it's, you know, it, it's a very wry thing. A lot of people do get it. They say like one in five or something of us will get it. So, yeah, uh, like I said, I know a lot of people that have had it. It's, uh, and I know a lot of people it's affected. So, yeah, crazy. Crazy thing in it, really. And there you go. Um, big shout out to anyone who liked that post, the dedication one. I dedicated that to a special friend of mine. I'm not going to say their name, but they're going for it right now. The cancer thing with a loved one. So yeah, that was really dedicated to him. But it's also dedicated to few of my other mates that have been for it. Like John, Dawny. Dawny lost her mum beginning of this year, unfortunately to brain cancer. So uh, yeah, this is just a little thing to say like, God bless you all. Um, anyone out there that's suffering, going through it, know me if you don't know me you can always reach out on here if you know me personally you'll probably have my number you can reach out for me on there and uh, yeah I always chat to people 
help them as best as I can. Anyone who knows me knows this. Hang on two seconds. Sorry about that. Um, another dog come around the corner. So yeah, anyone out there that needs to reach out, talk to me, I'll help you in any way I possibly can. And anyone who knows me knows this. Um, yeah, that's it really. God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And I uh, hope you all have a good day. Peace. Love. And uh, speak to you guys soon.